Okay, so you open up the front page. We feature usually all of our people here in the front, all the people that make FastCap happen because that's the most important point. And then after that, we've got all of our new products on the next page, which is pretty cool. So you get a quick overview of everything. And then as we turn the page, we're gonna jump right into FastCap. So let's go over FastCap, Ray. You know a little bit about it, but I'm gonna make bit. sure you know everything about I it. I wanna know everything about it. So typically, you know, we're putting in screw holes in the melamine panels. I got a little demo board here, and we got these lousy little chips all over the place we gotta cover. And back in the old days, we had these old cover caps, these ones with little right. nibs on right. the end of it. Thousands of them. And we'd put them in there, exactly. I did too, and then they'd fall out mm -hmm. because the screw would be in too deep or we'd have some problem like that. Not on the first day, a week later. They you, you got it. And so we would cock them in and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But now we don't have to worry about any of that stuff because we have fast caps. So there's a white fast cap. You take it, you peel it off, you stick it on, and you're done. Just like that. It's that simple. Pretty simple? That's, that's wonderful. So the cool thing is this took me 30 minutes generally to cap all my holes in a job and now five minutes I can do all a typical job, just quickly go over it. What type of a tea is it? Yes. It's a high performance acrylic, it's waterproof, it's good to minus 30 plus 250 degrees. So minus it's 30 plus 30. And it's 5.5 mils thick, so it's a very thick film. Normally acrylics are applied at about two mils max, but in this case it's applied all the way up to 5.5 and we do that because a lot of times we're going into raw material and we want the adhesive to work into the pores and be able to fill those cavities. So that's what we're looking Knowing for Knowing that there's many different materials used in our industry, in the woodworking industry especially, um, what type of different cover caps do you offer with different materials? Well, that's a good question. We have all the PVCs. This is our PVC sample chain right here. And we started off with just the solid colors right there. But I'll open up the sampler pack. We have our whites and we have our grays and our almonds and all this. And then we go into all the PVC colors right here. So this is a nice little sampler pack that we have for people. And then we have our real woods unfinished right here. And then we have our pre-finished woods as well. So this is unfinished. You can finish this right on the sheet and then put it on there to match your finish exactly. And then we have the pre-finished woods and we also have metallics as well. So we got a full gamut of everything. So there's about 70 stock colors right around Pretty there. Much covers everything. It, it, it does. And then, of course, we do all the custom colors yeah. as well. We can do any custom color you want, and we match all the laminates and edge banding and all that good stuff. So it's pretty simple. But here's some important things you need to know about FastCap. Number one, we make about five different packaging, if you will. We have a single sheet, which is one sheet. We have a mini box where they all look about the same. So there's one sheet in there, there's five sheets in there. Then we have a standard box, which is 20 sheets, about 1,000 caps, 52 caps. 260 caps and then we also make this nice bulk box right here which is empty but it kind of gives you an idea you get 500 sheets so a lot of big OEMs and people like that would buy the larger quantities bigger distributors. you got bigger distributors sometimes so people sell it by the sheet and so forth and so on and then we also have a shape sampler which is really cool which is this right here which gives you every possible shape that Fast Cap makes. All different sizes for Craig caps, for Castle caps, for RTA fittings, for Hayflip fittings. This is a pad that you can write on and put on your tape measure. And just every possible shape, all the Rayfix caps. You're familiar with yes, all yes, those, yes, yes. exactly. So we've got all that, that's a sampler pack. This is a H.2.5 hinge cover cap to cover a European hinge boring hole. And then we also have the sampler, which I went over there. So we've got the sampler packs, we've got the shape packs, and we've got the different size packaging of all the different caps. And everything's available either in a single sheet, a five pack, a 20 pack, or the bulk. Looking at all the different shapes, all the different applications you can do with those different shapes, every single shape is available in every single color. Almost, almost everyone. The only exception, R. Ray, and that's a great question, is when we get into some of these bigger ones, this is about a seven inch profile. This is for a double gang electrical box cover right here. So this, we only make in white because we don't have the material, the raw material, but in about five inches wide. So for the most part, yes, everything's available except for these really wide ones that are bigger than five inches. What is necessary in order to get a, a good adherence with, with your product. Uh, it needs to be obviously clean. Right. And it be moist. 
before you put your cover cap on? You know, it, believe it or not, the moisture is not a big issue it, it, because it's totally waterproof, the adhesive. Now, we don't want it soaking in water, but the answer is I could actually do that right now. We could kind of try that. I could put a little bit of water right here. I'll grab a rag and we'll put a little water here on a rag and I'll throw this on there. I didn't know you were going to throw this one at me, Ray, but we'll try it and we'll see what happens. So there's a little water that's all slick and wet and does it stick? It does stick, but it does come off a little bit easier, but it doesn't hurt the adhesive. Right. And when after that dries dry, out, it'll be, it'll be fine. Just so one of the tests that we have people do is you can actually stick a, a, a cap in your sink with it dry, fill it up with water, and the cap will stay on there perfectly. The, the water will not hurt the adhesive at all. Going back to the first cap we put on, we cover the hole. Yep. Now, for one reason, my wife comes in and asks me something. I'm in the middle of putting the cover cap on. I missed the half a hole, and the half a hole is still exposed. Yeah. What do I do? Well, that's actually one of the cool features about Fast Cap is because it's so rigid, it allows you to pick it up and reposition really easily and put back over so you can get it right where you want it pretty easily. That makes sense? Where if it was a regular sticker, and that's really one of the main issues of Fast Cap, is that if it was a regular sticker, it'd be very difficult. It'd wrinkle and it would be difficult to position, but because it's a thick material, it allows you to easily position it. But there's also another thing, it doesn't telegraph into the hole. So if you want it to, uh, it doesn't go into the hole because it's rigid enough to suspend it. So here's another good point that I like to show people. So sometimes the hole might be a little large, like here's a power head screw, and you want to put a little larger screw cap over the top of it, we can take, and uh, I'm looking for the 18 millimeter one Talking here. about your power head screw, oh, there you which go. would be 9 16ths, right? Yes, it would be 9 16 but let's say this didn't cover it quite enough. That one did actually cover it quite nicely. You could put a little larger one there to kind of span over the outside edge right. if you wanted to.